Is Denathrius a constructed card? Oh, for sure. Maybe we can get a nerf. What they're doing in constructed is playing Bran and then Kalefast and then Sire for zero and Bran with it. And it's gross. And I don't think I'm going to keep Sire when I don't have any play here going first. Yeah, glad I didn't. Uh, I don't know. That's a pretty bad start. And we're up against the mage. Don't worry. You showed skill last uh, time with the shoddy mage, right? I don't know. People don't remember, though. I got told the other day that uh, my skill was maybe not there anymore, and that's not why I was being watched, right? You know, I got told, I, you know, that now that I'm down in the dumps at 100 or whatever in, in the leaderboards, uh, people forget, man. I'm going to lose with this, and people are going to be like, this guy's washed up again, you know? People only remember exactly what they're seeing. Hmm. Isaiah? Nice draw on the Berserker, coming with good tempo into Saddlemaster. After this run, we'll definitely be firing up some uh, Elden Ring. We're going to fire into the capital today. Haven't been there yet. I'm almost level 80 now. I played a decent amount off stream. I'm level like 77. Oh, what? Already? I could have sworn. I could have sworn I just did those five minutes ago. I could have sworn. I got you after this game, Leaf Hater. But yeah, heading right now, I think the first thing I'm going to do is attempt to get into the capital today. There seem to be a lot of enemies around. Want to definitely get the main story uh, rolling on stream. No surprise they're hero powering that. Doesn't really matter, though. We just make this nice trade. Move on to a fantastic F bird. Into a Plumbus. I just made the mistake and played my Confection Cyclone and Tokens after I played my Deathborn instead of before. I felt dumb. Yeah, it's a, you know, sometimes we make dumb things like uh, playing an Aerolon before trading our board off or whatever. We do dumb stuff. As long as you learn something from it. As long as you don't do it next game to inherit. Then you're then you're all good, you know? Uh, Plumbus? Or, yeah, I guess just Plumbus and ship it. I got Swarm. I'm not Skirt. I got Swarm. We'll top deck Sire, play our Swarm all as well. Wait, what? We're storming the capital? We're storming the, the capital. I'm actually not sure what we're doing in the capital. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's filled with unfriendlies. Oh. Doesn't feel like I have the right to complain as much about that this run, but the card's still better, right? Oh, my entire board is, you know, they're, they're forcing this. I can still play uh, Swarm, though. Hope it hits a 1-1 one, one, or face. Nope. Darn it. Now they play Deathborn and we lose or nah? If they play Deathborn, we go face this face. Hero power. Put it all to the dome. Top deck collateral damage. Just a frozen touch. Garbage. Sanctum, frozen touch. Those cards are trash. Ring toss. Fuck. No ice barrier. They get to freeze this again next turn. No ice barrier. It's funny, this could actually give me an extra durability if it's explosive. I'm assuming it's counter spell then? It's gotta be counter spell. I'm assuming they were not offered Ice Barrier, because there's no way you pass it there, right? Like, imagine, look at this run, and look at the quality of our opponent's decks, and compare it to last run. Like, how night and day is it? Feels like our average opponent was, like, roughly a 4 or 5 out of 10 in power level last run, and this run it's like a 7.5 or something. Or 8. I mean, Waterboy sucks, but we, we there's so many amazing cards, we just did not see all of last run. Thank goodness. Now we have a deck that can handle them, right? Alright, Demon Hunter? Hello? Hey Judge, your stream is missing the arena label for me. Uh, thanks, so they actually changed the way the labels work? It should be there. Yeah, it, it, for some reason it's not there. I did add it. They changed the way tags work, and it's actually extremely annoying. It's, uh, it's up there now, thanks for letting me know. 
Uh, spring paw, nice, nice, nice. Seems like a great start. I'm in. I'll even keep Muck Plumbus with this kind of carve out. <coughs> I'll just start with a spring paw, see if they hero power again. Or a batty guest, maybe. What the fuck? What? <laughs> you, is this deck? What do you mean? <laughs> What, do your decks not look like this? <laughs> Bobber, it looks pretty standard to me. <laughs> yeah, this deck's pretty good. This deck's decent. Um, that makes me not want to play Plated Beetle. But uh, maybe I actually coined Aralon instead of Muck Plumber. Yeah, okay, here. They'll just trade Hero Power Replay. We play this, they Hero Power Trade, play get some Garbage 3, and then we win. Collateral two. Oh yeah, two spirit poachers, collateral, great curve, even ones. Uh, and we still managed to lose at two wins or something. Oh, I can't believe you did that. You know I have this Lynx, buddy. You're a five and one, my dude. Um, normally I'd coin out the three as well with that, but look at this hand, right? Just coin arrow on. If I'm being 100% honest, I always do appreciate your honesty. Uh, Giggle. Judge is playing pretty well today and should be pleased with his decision making to play his sires on curve. Yeah, I was considering sire on curve or nah, and I felt like it was the right way to go. Okay, let's go ahead and win this game. Seems nice. They could have Cycle of Hatred, right? Cycle of Hatred could provide a comeback for them. But they just recently changed how tags work. Instead of being able to pick through tags, like a list of tags, and uh, to keep it there permanently, you have to manually type in your tags at the beginning of every stream, as far as I'm aware now, which really seems like a little bit annoying. I wish the tags would stay stream to stream, but I have to keep typing it in over and over at the beginning, all of a sudden, for reasons. Okay, I get to not be overloaded for five here, right? I just get to play. Lots of ideas here. If I play Dirigible, can I freeze this? Not quite. So let's just do this. I could Mark Shot this too. I think it's just gonna be best to slam a plumber. We got spells if they decide to keep it alive. And we've got stats coming in every single turn. They decide just to get rid of it. Cool. Keeps our Aralon from being value traded, which we like. Is this my art teacher? Really? Is this my grade? The last time I took art was grade eight. Is this my grade eight art teacher right now? Only thing we got to be worried about is Cycle of Hatred, because that can still win the game on the spot. Illidari Studies. I don't think that card is nearly as good in this meta as it can, can be, right? Not a ton of good outcast stuff. Sure. Looking for that sick cycle, eh, buddy? Is it just me or Erlon really not that much better than Wild Paw Cavern? Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, just that Wild Paw is absurd. It is just you, actually. Master Cow, it's an understandable, uh, uh, you know, guess or reaction, because Wild Paw is insane. But the win rate on Erlon is way, way higher. And the reason is... Uh, the reason's gotta be that it's just, it's just a lot more stats, right? Like, you only get 9 attack out of the 4 drop, you get 14 out of the 5. Like, it scales, it's just better in stats is all, right? Wild Paw's a similar kind of card, for sure. You get also just an extra minion, yeah, one more turn of stuff, too, yeah. You get an extra turn of more stats. Imagine if Wild Paw summoned four instead of three. That's more like it. Okay. Worried about cycle. I'm definitely worried about cycle here. Not really much I can do, but lose to it, right? There's just too many things. I'm kind of screwed no matter what if they play cycle, man. I think I'm just gonna do this. Take away some of those. Problem is, is they just get them out of this anyway. They go bump cycle, I'd probably just lose. Again, so many insane, insane decks. 
in this run, where last run was just so easy. Oh, that's pretty strong. A little rude. But uh, they don't come anywhere close. Oh my god, come on, really? This is worth five mana on its own. Mark shot. Gross. And I was gonna say dirigible. But now I'll do this. Right in the face. Okay, just keep ourselves healthy until we come into possibly Sire. Wouldn't say no to our swarm of locusts. I haven't gotten a collateral damage lethal yet either. It's 107 outside today. Oh, that's disgusting inherit. Why'd you take one extra damage? I was feeling a little too healthy. What did I, uh, what did I do? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't take one extra damage, right? Wrong trades? How did I do it? How, say, please let me know instead of just saying wrong trades. Minus one? What, what should have I done? Traded. I'm not seeing it right now. You chop the 2-3 instead of the 3-1. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do, right? You did 3 damage to the 2-3? Yeah, but I couldn't kill the 2-3 three, three with my weapon. So how are you killing the 2-3? Oh, sorry, my weapon was 3 attack. Oh my god. <laughs> the weapon's 3 attack? Sorry. In my mind, it's just that's absurd. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh my god, I thought it was a 2 attack. That's just way too much, man. Okay, yeah, you're right, guys. You're right. Oh my god, that card's insane. A 3 attack weapon. I thought it was 2. I truly did. That's why I did it. I, for this entire time, thought it was a 2-2. Two -two. Holy fuck, dude. That card is absolutely disgusting. I just get obliterated in the face. I got 2 more turns. Just play this. And freezing? I'm gonna do that. Even if that lives, I think I'm okay with that. I'll do this. Yep, 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 yep. All right, got him with the freeze. We gave up the three one to sell the freeze a little more, and it looks real nice. That's a really good freezing trap. Aralon, dude, freaking Aralon! Oh my goodness! I think we're gonna win. I don't even think we need this sire. Dude, you could have tested the freezing with the 3-1 if you were going to do that, right? Oh my god. Mistakes were made. I can't say much, I just misplayed two. Dirigible and four go in here, that seems fine. See what's in the four? Is Muck Plumber out of my deck? It is. Over. Don't really feel like I want to take damage here. Nice. What did this deck lose to? It lost to two four mana nine nines on curve. Uh, almost on curve. Up till turn six. One on four, one on five, or one on one on four, one on six. Just too many stats. You can take one. Yeah, oh, no doubt. I'm just deciding whether I wanted to maybe could play the Saddle Master and the Poacher and just use the weapon on the three two. If they cycle, they probably... Do they die if they cycle? They get to hero power, but we keep 8 attack. And then this? Too many minions. Like, we should be to cycle. For the, the warlock imp one yeah they had two of those and they played them right away and that's just like and it, just too many stats to deal with right but just a shame because i really again looking at this deck it's like what does it lose to and uh 
I'm still fishing for that 12-0 Hunter. I've had so many 12s, but not a 12-0 Hunter since the achievements. Only 9 damage? How is that even cons- how that's not worth it? <laughs> Only 9 damage? Okay, let's try this first, actually. Another free fiery war axe. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's so good. Wait, where did I get this? Why did I have two of them? Oh, just a poacher? Oh, a two mana 7 6, equip a 3 2 weapon? That seems fair. Why are these fucks not emoting? I know, right? Only two emotes so far from this list is actually insane. We're probably gonna get one person who emotes three times to all three of our legendaries down the line anyway. Collateral damage has seen very little action this run. That's one of the things about having so many busted cards is some of them inevitably won't be as relevant as others. Can't believe we lost a single game. Frickin' four mana nine nines, man. Again, our card deck is filled with that shit insane cards. But who prints a four mana nine nine? Who prints a four mana nine nine? Who prints collateral damage? Who prints Sire? The culprit was... Okay, I guess Loot Hoarder. That card sucks. Oh, I guess Spirit Poacher. Hey, that card's worth four mana anyway. We actually don't lose mana. <laughs> Disgusting. Sickening. You know your deck is good when it takes two four mana nine nines to beat it, like by turn six? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a four drop here, please. Fantastic F-Bird, if you don't mind. Or... Like the thing about Spirit Poacher is that the body contests the board too, right? So you kind of just play like an um, under, you know, an understated two drop. But interesting, they're just gonna go. F yeah, one trade, one face. That makes sense. Three, two, pre bump. This wakes up. Probably need this down. Two divine shields. Yeah, I think I will give it a pre-bump, so my weapon for sure clears it. But yeah, like you, you still get a two drop, and then you just kind of have this extra free five four and three two weapon. You know, kind of, kind of, kind of op, kind of slightly op. Evolving missiles. I'm telling you, man, there's something up with that card, dude. That happens so often. It's happened so often to us, this meta. Okay, we don't draw a card. Pretty rude. But uh, I think we'll be okay. Perfect. What a delightful part. Party's over. <laughs> Right like we're just absurdly overstatted now because we got a, like a a one mana or maybe a half a mana five four and a three two weapon which are worth seven mana right like a fiery war axe and a five four is worth seven mana and then you package it together in one card and it's probably worth eight mana right like and we get it alongside our two drop like it's nuts it's insane it makes no sense dude and it used to be better. <laughs> like, what the shit? What is that? Okay, what's the play? I think it's this. It can't title me yet. You have to factor in the dormant for three turns? Sure, so maybe minus one or two mana then. You know? Maybe. To be fair, 3 turn dormant 5-4 with a 3-2 weapon would probably be a 4 mana card. Or a 3 mana card. Sorry, I said 4 because that's how much I think it would be. Um, yeah, yeah, 3 mana, that, that sounds about, about right. Food is 
Because it's got dormant, sure. Okay, so instead of that much mana, maybe you're only saving four or five mana instead of seven or eight, right? It's fine. Is that lethal? Is it lethal? Are they dead? Like, it's still Tidal Wave. Maybe I shouldn't be so reckless. I assume I can do anything I want with this in hand. <laughs> Come on. You win this one. You honor me. You honor me. Yes. I'll keep a three. Fool, fool I'd keep if I had a one or something, but I don't. Cool, 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 cool. Having a little bit of a tough time on turn one there. Wonder if they had something playable like a wand thief and they were like, do I tempo the wand thief into my wriggling horror or do I wait? Mark shot could turn into a zero mana secret. Could be good. I still can't believe this deck lost one. You gotta believe it in this meta, right? Uh, we also would have lost if a Demon Hunter had Cycle of Hatred, or if someone had a Deathborn. There's too many singular cards that win the game on the spot to make 12 O's of like something you can you can really guarantee. There was one deck that I had, I bring it up every once in a while, that I guaranteed went 12-0. I was like, this deck can't lose. Well, I guarantee is a strong word. But that was my my quadruple rottenest dragon hunter way back. But the meta was so much more consistent and reliable back then that I could be like, I know this deck is going to really struggle to lose. This meta, it's like, who plays the first Sire, right? Flip a coin uh, in some of these matches. It's so, so much harder nowadays to uh, to get those 12s even, let alone 12 O's. A 2-2 is slightly understated for sure. It's not good on its own. Um, so we overpay a mana for that, yeah. Then Stag as a standalone card is worth three. Sure. Maybe three and a half, okay. So we're up two and two and a half. Yeah, which is bonkers for a two drop even before, yeah, right? You can coin it out. And that's not even, yeah, yeah, so it, sure. So it's ha say it's half price, right? And you pay half price on anything. They were hovering over the Wand Thief. That's an amazing turn. Very rude. Um, don't know if I should play this. I kind of think I should just do this. See if they feel like hero powering this to stop the healing. Coming with a mark shot, maybe. The other thing, though, you got to consider, Andomer, is we're up that much mana. But remember, it's all in one card. So you have one card that does this. That's a 2-2. Two -two, so you're up this mana. You have another card. So you kind of have to add a pseudo draw a card to that as well, which is worth a mana, right? Because packaging cards into one makes them kind of like drawing, like you do more for one card. So it's even better than that. I think I'm just going to do this. See what we get. We could get a zero mana secret. I think I'll take the turn five. No guarantee I want to do this. And they might frozen touch the three, three, leaving a beta arrow. The two, one could be nice. Acolyte of Pain is nice and slow. Where you follow Sketchy Stranger is prob probably should have come down first in case you wanted to play that secret. Could mean they have secret synergy that they're trying to save it for and they knew they weren't going to play it. And they will just go with the double trade. Making my dirigible turn not quite as good as Beta Daryl. See if they hero power their own acolyte. We saw that twice in one run the other day, which was pretty nuts. You have two sires drafted? Yeah, and an Aralon Gonzo. Which begs the question, how often do we actually lose a game with this deck? Nice, they did it. Oh wait, hold on, that's a rogue secret. Duh, I knew it, I knew that was a rogue secret. They always like to take draw. I'll start with this in case it gets kidnapped. Play this lad. I think I want Loot Hoarder over Hero Power at this stage. Mind if I roll Everyone always takes draw every time, man. Like, it's decent, but you already have more cards than me. You're not needing the value. Seems like a waste of two mana, honestly. And yet, 
we're still struggling more in this run than we did with our 65 rated garbage mage just because our opponents seem to be way better this run than our last run crazy oh got my sire swarm combo that being said that only goes so far right They need a puzzle box. More fun when you just stomp the shit at people. Not at all, not at all. You know, I know you're capping, but this has been a very fun run. I, it's more for me, not about like, oh, I wish we were destroying people, not at all. It's just insane, the difference between these two runs, right? Just swarm this, hero power. Hmm. Maybe that's better. No hero power? What a delightful power. Save the swarm for when I need it. Muck Plumber is one of the worst cards in there. Yeah, that should say a lot. We also haven't seen a lot of our Desert Spear, right? Desert Spear, it, having two early weapons too. This deck is sick. Having a Desert Spear and Collateral Damage be like not really all that relevant. Oh, collateral Damage? Collateral Damage, Tony? Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. We don't need it. Come in, come in. Everyone's a winner. My compliments. To the ship. Could deal 15 to the face here. I could do also swarm into collateral. I think I'm going to do this. Feel safer. Feels safer. So nasty for Sire Gonzo. Earlier we had a, a board where we played Swarm of Locusts with both Sires in hand. Okay, so should I lead with the Sire or the Collateral Damage? If I whiff, could I die? Yeah, I could. If I whiff with the Collateral, I could die, so I better do Sire. A toast. Hey, a minion lived. Look at that. My color is bad. Good response. I have a Flame strike, deal eight damage to their face. Seems good. And a hero power. That's disgusting. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. Play Reno, please, for the love of God, play Reno. They, shot, they, me. they debated whether to hit that to their own face. Double fireball ends it, guys. A whirlwind of flavor. They could have discovered two fireballs. This mage is going to win with double fireball, mark my words. Single pyro? Oh shit, we actually lost. Dude, single pyro ends it because of this? They set it up. We lost. With this, five, eight, ten, we're dead. Wow, I can't be mad. That's cool. This guy's a gamer. I deserve it. I told you this was going eight. I said, mark my words, this is going eight. They take a pyro, right? Here it comes. Shit. I was rooting for him. I was actually. Would I would I have molded? Of course. Of course I would have. But would I also have been secretly happy? Yeah, definitely. Not that secretly. If I top deck sire, do I slam it? For the lethal? <laughs> no way, dude, right? I'm jo I was jo I was joking. I'm not that cool. I'm not that cool, guys. Do it? No way, dude. No way, dude. You know I'm going to miss. Forget it. Forget it, dude. Absolutely not. I was joking. I will lose the game. This is a 12 win. 
Yeah, bump first, then slam it, and then die. Not a chance. I will lose. Sometimes you got to say it. Sometimes you got to disappoint chat to get that YouTube 12, right? Who will also, those viewers will also be disappointed. Jesus. Oh God, <laughs> I need to do it for the uppers. If it weren't for the prediction, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> My name is Judge. Whose name is Judge? My name is. Whose name is Judge? My name is. That's a silly name. Judge. Okay.